As soon as we get in the building, we play uh, with millions. We uh, love in the chill and we have a million. We have the top. DJ Cortez, talk. Cortez talk. They come as a surprise to many y'all, but I actually don't keep up with, with major sports like that unless it's boxing. I can't tell you shit about the NBA. I just know I'm from Chicago, so I watch a Bulls game here now. But uh, something caught my attention. So, Keon Martin, or however the fuck you pronounce his name, said something about Jerry, Jeremy Lin. And um, he attacked him because, you know, he's an Asian man wearing dreadlocks. And his, his reason behind it was that he felt like he was, you know, being a culture vulture. And that he wanted to be black. And, like, I instantly just busted out laughing. So just because you're a different race and that you have a different hairstyle, that means that you automatically want to be that race. And the irony is, a lot of people don't even, like, understand the history behind dreadlocks anyway. You know, they just look at his hairstyle. So I don't know why he would go and plunge deep into like his race and speculate all that just over hairstyle because if that's the case, nobody that isn't Native American should be wearing mohawks if I'm not mistaken. Things like that. Um, there's some type of braids that black people shouldn't be rocking. Hell, if that's his case, according to his logic, certain women shouldn't get weeds from certain countries. Which that's, a, that's a discussion in itself. But the, another irony is this man has literally fucking Chinese symbols on like his body. Like that's a common thing people do. Get um, letters of the Chinese alphabet, you know, to symbolize different things. But the problem I have is why are you worried about what another grown man has on um, his head? Like why why does that bother you? Why are you feeling offended about that? That's kind of stupid. And the thing is, when he got a lot of like backlash for it, he responded. And he said, yes, he is a grown man. He can wear whatever he wants. But I'm also a grown man, so I can say whatever I want to say. So when you say certain things, you do have to be held accountable for it. And another thing is, he kind of contradicted himself. He says it wasn't about race. But you literally went in depth about how his last name, and he, sh he shouldn't be allowed to wear that hairstyle. How if he was trying to join the NBA league back in his generation or make it on his team, just simply off his hair, and because he just happens to be a man of Asian descent, then he wouldn't be allowed on the team. So how is it not about race? That's the first thing people always do when they say some stupid shit. I don't want to say politically incorrect because sometimes certain people can say certain things that mean well and it comes out wrong. But in this case, this was just ignorant. So people are like, no, I didn't mean it. I'm like, no, bro, you literally just got on this man's case literally just because he's Asian and he wants that dreadlocks. Now, I didn't do any further research. I'm not 100% sure why he has dreads. But the thing about it is, who fucking cares, bro? He's a grown-ass man. He does his own thing. Let him rock whatever he wants. We live in a, a day and age where shit, men can damn near wear women's clothes if they want to. But dreadlocks is, is like what, what flushes you, bro. That's what bothers you. Leave him the fuck alone, bro. Pl plenty of people wear dreadlocks. Hell, you know, like rock stars in the 80s and shit was like rocking dreads. Things like that, like... Hair, hair can be a race thing, depending on like the subject matter we're talking about it. Like I talked about racism in one of my videos involving dreadlocks. But the thing about it is like, at the end of the day, it's a hairstyle. You want a fucking mohawk? If you can maintain it, take care of your head, go for it. If you want dreadlocks, you can probably maintain it, keep your hair up, go for it. Shit, if you want a perm, whatever you want to do with your hair, it doesn't have to say anything about your identity. That's fucking dumb. Let alone your racial identity. Hey, if anything, I think hair would be technically more like cultural or anything. But at the end of the day, lots of people with dreadlocks that aren't black. Um, I was going to a gas station in Kentucky. I was going to go visit some family. I was leaving Chicago. And uh, I walked in the store. And as I was walking out, it was a white guy that literally just happened to be identical size me. Uh, height, all that, and his hair was like the same fucking length. And we looked at each other in that, like we we locked eyes, like we literally, like I was coming out of the store, he was coming in. We just happened to run into each other. I was like, hey man, I like your hair, man. Yeah, we was checking each other's dress. I was like, it wasn't no beef or no hate or nothing like that, you know. We were both fascinated by each other's hair. I don't see why people feel the need to attack, you know, other people for like subtle differences. 
another a problem is there's a lot of black people that feel like they can't be racist or feel like they can't be called out for certain things and that's simply not the case anybody can be racist anybody can be prejudiced and i feel like he was being racist and prejudiced in this instance but i just wanted to say bro if you're white you want to you want to have dreadlocks go for it hispanic if your hair can maintain the style do whatever it takes man whatever's your swag whatever you feel comfortable doing go for it and remember the next time you're about to judge somebody don't judge them try to understand them try to dig before you even gonna say anything about them at least try to be like okay well they're doing this because they're doing this or if you can't take the time to try to comprehend somebody well don't fucking speak on them don't worry about them 